This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday morning, May 4th. I'm James Spann. Warm is the word. This will be the warmest week so far this year. Check it out. Upper ridging in place here across the Deep South. Going to keep the rain away for a while as well. Troughing out west, the main range this week will be across the Great Plains and parts of the upper Midwest. Cool spot early this morning, Fort Payne and DeKalb County. They're sitting at 46, mostly 50s elsewhere. Birmingham at 59. We'll expect low 80s in most spots today. Convective outlook, severe weather risks well to the west and north of the state. The uh, marginal risk runs all the way from the Rio Grande up to Cleveland and Detroit. Some of the uh, slight risk areas would include Kansas City and Omaha in the far western part of Texas. Tomorrow, the standard slight risk again for West Texas, where they'll take any rain they can get. This is good for them. And on day three, a risk of severe weather for parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. You can see the big rains out in that part of the country, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. And again, that's a good thing for them. And around here, nothing. It looks like the uh, dry spots in the whole country, Alabama and Mississippi and the Florida Panhandle. And this is valid through Saturday morning. Check the models here. The GFS, this is the 06C run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. You see the upper load that's over Southern California ridging here and down below that a bright sunny day and a warm day with low 80s pretty much the same deal tomorrow a good supply of sunshine low and mid 80s are likely and wednesday we stay dry of course you can see potential for active weather across the great plains with that deep surface low in eastern colorado and look at the feature that is off the florida atlantic coast on wednesday you know the models have shown this for a long time uh, let's go to Thursday and take a closer look at that thing. It's uh, 1,008 millibars east of Savannah. And uh, this could be, I don't think it's a classic tropical system. I think it will be categorized perhaps a subtropical storm. And there's a real chance this gets a name. Uh, if it gets a name, the name will be Anna, the first named system of the season. Of course, we're still dry on Thursday. And then the uh, GFS depicts this thing drifting into uh, the Atlantic coast around Savannah on Friday. And this would suggest maybe some rain with this thing uh, over the Carolinas on Friday, but we stay dry. Uh, Friday's high will be up in the uh, mid to upper 80s. The GFS is showing 87. It's going to be very warm, just like uh, summer almost. And Saturday, the thing just sits there. The pattern's all blocked up. It's really got nowhere to go. Uh, Saturday, as the weekend begins, we're dry with mid to upper 80s here. And Sunday, uh, we'll show the larger scale again. You can see a, a surface low is over Iowa with a trailing front. And uh, again, you know, I guess you might consider mentioning a slight chance of a shower Sunday with some increase in moisture. But for now, we'll leave it dry. And then this is Monday, a week from today. You can see a little short wave coming in here, and that should bring our next chance of rain. Now, the main surface low is way north. This is not a severe weather look, but that might settle the dust a week from today, this Monday, May 11th. This is the end of the forecast, the middle of next week, Wednesday, May 13th. And we've still got heights above average here. And a little disturbance west of the state might bring some rain to Louisiana. But again, that looks fairly quiet. And the good news, we see no chance of any severe weather here for the next uh, 10 days for sure. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.